Yes, had control of it. Tony Sullivan has to take the kick. He kicks it long, almost to the kickoff lines. Melbourne's Swan is up and down without the ball. And finally, the whistle blows for ball up. No, it doesn't. Free kick to Hawthorne. That's Kevin Heath. Kevin Heath, picked to play half forward. He's played half back most of the day since Park got on top early in the first quarter. Sullivan has it now across the centre half forward. And Captain has it at midway between centre half forward and the full forward line. He's about 40 metres out, directly in front. Been a quiet player, Stan Elves, but has one goal on the board. Sorry, or two. two. Drop punt kick from Elves, and it looks pretty true. In fact, it's all clear, and the Demons hit the front again. Third goal to Stan Elves. There was one uh, goal he kicked that I remembered uh, without looking down at my football record, which was an inspiring captain's goal, and he's done the trick again there. It's just the one that the Demons needed to give them a five-point break after seven minutes in the final term, which looks like being nip and tuck at the moment. Nothing much in it. When at halftime, everyone said uh, the Demons were playing very well, but they really lost the momentum of the game in the third term. Mark Teller. Backhands the ball. Dittrich reading it well off the hands of Sullivan. Sends it forward. Jaworski almost. Now here's Park. The handball. Brewer. Long kick by Brewer is what's called for. It's a long kick. It's bouncing. It's through. For a behind. The ball. And that makes it one straight kick the difference. That was an exciting passage of play. And everything that uh, Carl Dittrich does is exciting. Kick in by Moore. The pack. Off the hands, it goes to Young Farflower. Uh, over to Callery, up towards uh, full forward. Chance now for Brewer. It's a goal. He read that like a very good half forward flanker. Swooped in under the feet of the pack and just popped it through, like the good half forward flankers do. Yes. Reminiscent of Jeff Tunbridge at his best. And the Demons go to 91. Hawthorne 79, so it's, uh, what's the difference there, Dick? 12 points the difference. Two, Two straight clear goals. Yes, Brewer is a lot taller than was Jeff Tunbridge. For those uh, people who can remember Jeff Tunbridge about 10 years ago, was a brilliant uh, left foot half forward flank specialist for Melbourne. He's quite a bit taller. He stands at about uh, 190, 192 centimetres. Lee Matthews charges forward but gets caught. Melbourne break away, but as Matthews was caught, he was pushed in the back. And Lee Matthews to send Hawthorne forward. They trail by two goals. Long kick by Matthews, swinging away towards the side there. Mark, Mark, almost. Has it been allowed? No, not quite. Still in play. Off the ground. Post. I think that was Moncrief or McCarthy who got his foot to the ball. I couldn't say which. McCarthy. McCarthy. Right, we'll pay that. And Biffin kicks it in and favours the member side. Hardiman is there. The ball is tapped down. Goad loses the run of it. Maher also. Some good bumping there as Hardiman emerges and sends Melbourne into attack. With a long kick towards Park and Heath. Coming across is Brewer again. Looks for the short pass from Cowley. Has it in the pocket. Cowley lines up and he's offline. Had to kick hurriedly as the desperate tackle from David Parker came. And unfortunately for Melbourne, that golden opportunity goes begging. Well, that was a brilliant piece of football by Brewer to pop it over to Cowley there to keep it short when he was at full gallop. Yes, very, uh, a very balanced player is Ross Brewer. And he's been... Uh, only had a quiet third quarter. He played brilliantly first half. Moore boots it to Northern Stand side. And a good mark to Brewer on this occasion. Brewer's kicks back, back to Tilbrook. But it's picked up by uh, Martello. Up towards uh, centre wing. A chance for Ma. But coming through strongly is Williamson for Melbourne. He kicked cops one over the uh, shoulder. Tilbrook comes through with strength. Gets it to Dedrick. And a great driving mark by Vic Carr. And the big demon ruckman has it. And that was good play by Tilbrook to get it to him. 
up towards centre half forward it goes and Heath in front of the park uh, takes the mark been a great marking duel there up, up towards uh, Jaworski who kicks it to centre half forward comes to ground tapped out cleverly towards McCarthy McCarthy gets it towards Bevan Bevan into an open goal has to kick it and will and has put it right through for Hawthorne's 11th goal and Bevan's second Look at the Hawthorne fans. Well, they had plenty to cheer about in the third term while when Hawthorne kicked five goals, eight to Melbourne's two behinds, and reduced Melbourne's half-time lead from 40 down to four points. And it's just one straight kick, the difference again. Six points, Melbourne leading. Ruckman very close to the centre circle, both Ruckman. Dittrich and McCarthy, Dittrich taps it down, but struck to Desma, who read it well, kicks the Hawks forward again, on the ground Martello, does it beautifully for big man, keeps it low, it bounces, but didn't break far enough left for Martello's liking, and now there's five points of the difference, there's big Alan Martello, probably, I don't know, I think he's the best man on the ground today, he and Tilbrook would be very close, Biffin kicks it in. Dittrich. Oh, big Freeman! Flower. Penalty against Trump. Oh, it's a 35 metre penalty. I'm quite catchable. 15 metres, five for, for extra <laughs> But the Hawthorne get away. It was not an intelligent kick by Flower, and Grummish sends it uh, onto that half-forward flank. Martello hooked away, had his arm hooked away by Williamson. Well scouted by Goad, and he's put it out on the full, but he was roughly handled uh, when taking that kick. And Biffin will put it back into play. Hawthorne calling their troops up. Jaworski's coming up. Doog is coming up into attack. Biffin, the pack, Dittrich again, just fails to take it, nicely out to Wells, hand pass from uh, uh, Leary to uh, Flower, Flower centre wing, looking for the, uh, the dummy, up towards uh, centre half forward it goes, chance for Tilbrook, cleverly over the back to uh, young Swan, Swan doesn't know where to run, picks it back to, or hand pass it back to Clark, Clark uh, loses possession of it, Parker comes through, retains balance nicely. In there is Park for Melbourne. Clipping and clopping going on here. No one getting forward with it. And umpire coach will ball it up. Well, there was plenty of courageous football in that lot. The players really making the ball their object and diving in. Oh, I less, well, the difference. I listen to young fellows to keep your eye on the ball and really go in after it. Leary tackled high, walked to ground, holding the ball. Well, he was unfortunate there. The tackle, the high tackle, was on the blind side of the umpire. Grumsh. Uncontested mark. Luckily not a 15-metre penalty against Dittrich for knocking the ball away from uh, Hendry. John Hendry, Hawthorne centre-half forward. I don't think he can make the distance from there. Tries the drop kick. Looks for the big fellows. Behind the back, Martello. Puts it beyond that. The trouble there was that everybody was up and nobody down. Martello was at the back of the pack and he made no mistake. Yes, well, Martello just capped off with that goal. His first, a very fine display here at the MCG this afternoon. He's uh, had a great battle for scores. Only one point the difference and Hawthorne have regained the lead. And the lead has changed uh, one, two, three, four times in this quarter. Three times. It has and... Uh, 15 minutes gone. It's been a great duel between Dittrich and Martello, with Martello winning on most occasions. But his play around the ground has been uh, inspirational to Hawthorne. Dittrich has gone off the ball for Melbourne. McCarthy wins the tap down to Hendry. Hendry breaking clear at centre half forward, up towards the forward pocket. And a great mark to Lee Matthews. Lee Matthews, he great played, chest mark. Basically, here's mark. the whistle. And pass to Rice running by. Rice from the forward pocket. Kicks it right across the face and out on the full. 
Well, Rice is a natural right foot kick. Why he kicked it left then, I'm not sure. He didn't appear to be hemmed in onto, his, onto that foot. Tony Sullivan to put it uh, into play for Melbourne. Great flying attempt by Hardiman, and he'll be paid the mark. Halfback flank members' side. Hawthorne lead by one point. We've played 16 and a half minutes in this final quarter. The half forward. Park from behind. Callery has it. He's grabbed. Tackle. Loses the ball. In chips Grummage for uh, Hawthorne. Up towards half forward flank. Coming through for Melbourne is uh, Williamson. Williamson. And it's a boundary throw in. Swan in ruck opposed to Martello. Swan's tap. Brian Doog has the ball taken away from him by Leary but comes back to it with great courage and that could be a ball up. Score, Hawthorne by a point, 93 to 92, 17 minutes gone, last term. Martello, 35 metres that punch went. And here's Hardiman to send Melbourne forward. Greg Wells in front, brings it down. Wells comes back to it again. <laughs> a little bit of hurdling going on there. Good side bump, Calorie. Ball's clear. Desmar gets a shirt front and kicks it to Martello. Handball to Grummish, who can't kick right foot for a very great distance, but he does brilliantly there. And Moncrief slips. Bevan grabbed. Recovers. Good bump. On the ground. Off the ground. Clapping in unison, going wild with excitement. But it's not over yet. 18 minutes gone, so there's roughly 12 or 13 minutes to go. And plenty of uh, drama could take place in, that, uh, in this next uh, period of time. Because the lead has already changed three times in this term. Tapped down by uh, Swan. Smothered. And the free kick will go to uh, Elves. I'm not Mar sure. Mar was holding the ball. Elves it is. Long low drop kick towards centre half forward and the mark is taken by Hawthorne but the free kick is going Tilbrook. to uh, Melbourne here. Is it Tilbrook or Dittrich? I think it's... Tilbrook's walking back with the ball. No, it's Big Carl to take it. Is it? Yes. Big Carl. Carl moved back very briskly. He knew it was his. But, oh, uh, a lot depends on this one, Thorold, from 40 metres. Seven points in Hawthorne's favour. Carl Dittrich has put it through, right through the centre. The difference is one point again. And that's Carl's first goal. Melbourne's 13th, or 14th rather. Dittrich has been resting in the back pocket in most uh, for the first three quarters when he's been off the ball. Now he's gone down to the forward pocket and actually is playing at full forward. Changing with young Swan in that full forward position. And Swan is in ruck at the moment. He's to contest this one with McCarthy. And Swan's tap it is. Taken by Matthews. He gets his kick forward. It bounces awkwardly. Brian Doog for Hawthorne. Sends it long. Biffin's in front. Held by one arm. He looks for Flower. Flower's been replaced by uh, number three, Rollinson. Rice in trouble. Hardiman the free kick. Rollinson hands it to... Uh, as the other Melbourne reserve warming up, hands it to Hardiman. His kick to half forward. Tilbrook! But no, it's going the other way. Bremner tosses it back uh, to Kevin Heath. No doubt Tilbrook came down with it. Swan for Melbourne. Bustles on in fine style, loses the run of it, well shepherded. Just forward of the centre. Hawthorne, uh, plenty of defenders. Peter Knights is there. Martello. Moncrief now. Biffin's the only Melbourne defender. Safe chest. Keeps it low and does it skillfully to Leary, the halfback flanker. Somebody infield for him. Barry Burke, who's always backing up. He's a very thoughtful footballer and reads it brilliantly to half forward where Parkin slips. Callery has the chance. 
Now this is Flower going goalwards. Two wheels, draws the defence, pops it over, and it's through. A brilliant passage of football by Melbourne, drawing the defenders all the time. Well, that was reminiscent of their second quarter when they added uh, seven goals on. But the score now is five points in Melbourne's favour after a uh, great third quarter by Hawthorne where, where they outscored Melbourne quite comfortably. But the Demons have come back and saved the little in reserve. But Hawthorne got to nine points in front a moment ago and uh, now Melbourne have whittled that back and they've got a five-point break. These two teams occupy the seventh and eighth positions on the ladder. So it's vital that both teams win this game if they're to stay in the fight for the final. Swan does it again, does it twice. A good punch away by Rice. Hardiman battles for Gets a bit of help there from Brewer. Prages football. And there'll be a ball. It's coming up to the, uh, well, the very important part. 22 minutes gone. Melbourne by five points. Hawthorne about to make a replacement. Jones will replace Bevan. Meantime, back in the centre, here's the ball. Tapped forward by Dennis Clark. Now Tilbrook kicks it long. Where's Dittrich? No. Now he's got it. Back over his head to Osborne, who's playing his 100th game. Number seven for Melbourne. Jaworski gets them out of trouble. Rollinson there with Knights to bat. Out of bounds. Knights is claiming the free kick. And he's getting it. 22 and a half minutes. Melbourne leading by five points. Umpire just telling Knights he's got to go back and kick over the mark. He's on the half-back flank, on the outer side of the ground. Big crowd here today, about 30,000. Leon Rice on his chest. Gives uh, Lee Matthews possession. Matthews around in the pocket, but he's put it out on the full. Free kick to Melbourne. Tony Sullivan taking it. Goes short. Cowley. It's been pretty quiet today, Paul Cowley, but it's been very effective. 16 kicks. Uh, you expect Paul Cowley will get somewhere at about 20 to 25 kicks at this stage of the game. Big pack flying. 17 is Dennis Clark, who lost the run of it there. They're burrowing in. They want the ball. But a uh, big pack of players and very hard to get it away effectively. Umpire coach there. Swan. Rucked well. Cowley sends forward. Ball Hawthorne. Fine, courageous mark by fullback Kelvin Moore. He sends it deep. There's nobody there except Lee Matthews. That's danger. Dittrich ran the wrong way and now has to chase Matthews. He's chasing. Matthews kicks it deep. Good mark. Ray Biffin again. Solid in defence. Made quite a few mistakes in the third quarter, but has pulled his game together considerably in this last turn. Kicks it out to that wing once again. Looks for Dittrich. Tap down to Calorie. Calorie sets the Demons going again. Demons by five at the moment. Osmond smothers well. In they go, burrowing in. Out to Jaworski. Lee Matthews. Danger here for Melbourne. Hawthorne going goalwards. Not quite Moncrief from that kick by Hendry. One point. Well, four points the difference. Both teams have the 100 on the board. Melbourne 104, Hawthorne 100. Coming up to the 25-minute mark, and now they're playing extra time. The lead has already changed three times in this quarter, and when they met earlier in the season, four times in this, uh, this quarter, and they, uh, it was two points the difference in Melbourne's favour last And it was year. a seesaw last quarter, what's more, out of Hawthorne. Martello with strength, but a good side mark. Now it's going. Slips away. Kicks it short. Look at that struggle there. Biffin, the hand pass to Williamson. Melbourne out of trouble. Is Clark marks. He's caught. Four for two. Yes, go on with play. Well, the players didn't know what was going on there, but finally it was Young Flower. Descended forward at Heath Marks. Could have had a free kick played against him there because he interfered with the park right in front of the Melbourne uh, supporters who don't like it one little bit. Well, there was no doubt it was Clark's free kick. Heath. Uh, towards half forward who's carrying on from his great game last week 
and uh, particularly with his first half effort here today. Quiet in the third quarter, but coming back now. Up towards the half forward, uh, on this occasion, a clear mark to, uh, to Kevin Heath, and he stems uh, Hawthorne at that half-back position. Number 10, Dennis Clark, who's played a uh, great second half for Melbourne, takes the mark in the centre of the field. And slows it down. 26 minutes gone, Melbourne by four points. Boots it up to the pack of players, and... We're playing a great mark. At centre half forward, a very important kick, probably the most important kick Osborne has had in his league career. Melbourne lead by four points, a goal here would certainly at the 25 minute mark put Melbourne in a very fine position. It's on its way, it's offline, it's one behind. So it's five points the difference and listen to the hush of the crowd. Coming up to the 27-minute mark. Melbourne by five points as Moore goes straight down the centre. Dittrich to thump it forward a long way. Lee Matthews for Hawthorne. Kicks it into attack. Where are the defenders? There's one of them, Barry Burke. Great game for Melbourne today by Burke. Hawthorne led by Knights. Over the top comes Brewer. In comes Rawlinson. Catches Bustle, does he? Bustle can't pick it up. So Rawlinson did the job required. 27 minutes gone. Melbourne 105, Hawthorne 100. There's Martello, number 14. Look at his strength. Wells. Smothered, brilliantly smothered by Leon Rice. Matthews underneath that puck. Pack. The two Rovers bowing. Matthews wastes no time. There's Peter Knights with the ball. And it's marked by John Hendry. Hendry kicks it deep. Hawthorne behind. It's McCarthy. Is it? Yes. McCarthy, 15 metres out, straight in front, has two goals. A goal here will put the Hawks in front at the 28-minute mark of the last quarter. trainers some instruction what's going to happen Melbourne are making a change Leary is off and Frank Davis is on Melbourne's captain last year and there's one point the difference Hawthorne by one point 28 and a half minutes gone and Melbourne down Dittrich in ruck Martello in ruck for Hawthorne everything hinging on this last couple of minutes it could mean a place in the final five Alves over his head to Clark. Grummish. Alves again. What is it? Holding the man. Charlie Grummish free kick. That settled them down a bit. Grummish kicks it out wide. Yes, a great mark. Moncrief. There's Ian Ridley getting up out of his uh, chair. He's the Melbourne coach. Moncrief, very quiet player for Hawthorne today. Less than double figures. He kicks it long, which is good football at this late stage of the game. There's a mark claim there by Ray Biffin. He's holding his eye, but he hasn't got time to hold his eye. He has to play on. He goes the long way around the grandstand flank. And it's Moncrief who puts Hawthorne back into attack. Henry for Hawthorne. He plays on quickly when he might have settled down. He kicks it long. Lee Matthews is there. Now it's punched away. A chance for Burke. Brings it to hand. Pivot turn. Out of trouble. Back into trouble. Lee Matthews could seal the game here for Hawthorne. Pots it goal and puts it through. That's the seal. It's all goal for Lee Matthews. 30 minutes gone exactly. And the Hawthorne trainers are wild with excitement. Speedy Law's there. The boot started with the glasses. As uh, Hawthorne go to a seven-point lead. And I think it's too late for Melbourne. The fortunes of football, as I said. Osborne a few moments ago for Melbourne, had that shot from about 30 metres out. Melbourne were uh, five points in front. Had he kicked the goal, it would have made the nine points in front. Instead, Hawthorne have kicked two goals since then, and they look to have the game in their keeping. Hardiman gets the ball out towards Flower. Flower, difficulty in picking it up, hotly pressed there by Martello, holding the man, free kick to Flower. 
Flower plays on. Up towards Elves at centre half forward. Coming out is Tilbrook. Neither can get the ball. Bremner comes through. He came on at half time to replace Kelvin Matthews. Back, and Bremner. in the back to Bremner. And look at Al, Big Al, telling Bremner to steady down. Hawthorne don't want to hurry. They've got the game in the bag. Up towards centre half forward. And a great mark for Hawthorne. McCarthy once again. And he's pulled a couple of big ones down at vital periods. And he's 45 to 50 metres out. Plenty of time. The sign has sounded. The Hawks have won by seven points. Hawthorne, 15 22. 112. On, he's, kicked, he's kicked this one out. That's the final score now. Hawthorne, 15 22. 112. Have defeated Melbourne, 15 15. 105. In one of the most entertaining games we've seen this season.